All right, so I realize there's some complexity that is involved in being able to create a group frequency table like you see in your book just out of JASP. So I'm making a quick video here. Um, this is probably the fastest way to do it, but it has its own limitations. Let's take a look at what this would be. We can make frequency into a scale variable so that we can manipulate it. We can then create a new variable, for example, and call it classes. This will be an ordinal variable that make, breaks this into groups. We can use a function to do this by cutting our existing variable into six groups. And we can compute this. Now, what this does here is it creates classes. Now, it's going to create these classes by taking the range, which goes from 1 to 17, and making three groups. So you could go beyond that, as we discussed in the videos, if you want, like, instead of going from 1 to 17, you could go from 1 to 18, which would give you nice classes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But instead of those pretty cuts here, notice we got 9 to 11.7, and then 11.7 to 14.3. So this works, but it doesn't realize we don't have any fractional numbers but it will create still six equal sized groups. Uh, this is probably the most you know, direct way to do it and most common way to do it if you're just using a program to do it automatically. So this is one way to do it. And then when we go to get the descriptives for this, we can get the descriptives for our classes and get our table. And there is our groups.